Okay, quick product review on bag shapers that I purchased off of, of AliExpress. I have a real, authentic Birkin 35 and a jumbo red lambskin Chanel bag. This is a single flap, so it does not hold its shape very well. And this bag is 13 or 14. How old is this? It's 2010, single flap. So I wanted to have some kind of a shaper when I'm not using this bag and it's stored in its dust bag in the other room. Found these two on AliExpress. They're satin and they have zippers so that over the reviews that I saw, some of the ladies have either taken some of the stuffing out or maybe added more stuffing for different bags that they have used these for. So reading all of the reviews, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and try these. So I bought one large one for size 35, Hermes Birkin size bag shaper. And this one for the jumbo Chanel size. Reading over there, I haven't put these in the bags yet, but reading the reviews, one lady said that one of them was too full that she thought for her bag. I'm trying to think what that, maybe it was this one. But at least there's a zipper. And this is just has regular stuffing. So that would be easy to pull out if that was too, too thick. Oh, nice zippers though. The seams are sewn very well. There's no sharp corners. They smell nice. So let's put them in. Let's start with the big one. Uh, this is Clemence leather, so this is a very saggy leather, and this bag is from 2003, so it's very old. Um, love it. It's blue jean color. But definitely needs something inside of it. I don't have any worries that this is going to not fit <laughs> because a 35 is gigantic. I mean, it's as wide as my body. They're, they're very big. That fits in there just perfectly. I'm trying not to like pull on the side so that you can see how it fits. One thing about this Clemence, this one right here, since I don't use this bag all the time, it is on my rotation of bags, but I don't want it to sit all the time with that, that crease. So I'm going to prop this cushion a little bit further on this side so that when I go set this on my shelf, well, I guess that didn't work as well as I thought. I do have airbags that I used previously. So maybe I'll put one on the corner there to help with that. But it does fit nicely and for 20 something, 30, under $30 for that silk pillow. It was worth the price. So now let's go over to the Chanel Jumbo and check it out. Well, it fits in there just fine. Now, this tends to bow out a little bit. Did 
to have too much air in it. I mean, I did unzip that, so maybe I have it puffy with more air. I don't know if that was me. That looks a little thick to me. Maybe this definitely would have been the one that I read one lady's review on. Everyone else had great reviews and didn't have any comments about it being too wide. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take some of this out. I think it's a little too thick. Very soft. That is, that is a soft material. thinking that this would be okay. Uh, for the price, this is excellent. I mean, it's just an insert instead of using airbags. I've also used white cotton pillowcases and shoved those in my bags before because the white cotton lets it breathe. This is the first time I've had a satin pillow insert. Uh, for the price, I'm going to give these an A+. Plus. I think that they're worth it. Yep. There's a section on uh, AliExpress where you confirm that you got your order, and then you can upload a photo, write a review. So I think that I will definitely put the a review for this seller. I'm, I'm pleased. I think it was worth it. So thanks for watching you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.